Happening right now, the Scottsdale City Council has just voted to change the wording of a ballot measure surrounding sales tax. 12 News journalist Jade Cunningham is joining us now live from Scottsdale City Hall. Hi, Jade. Hey, good evening. Yeah, so this meeting ended about an hour and a half ago, and let me tell you, it got heated at times between the council members. There was plenty of debate, but even after all of the discussion that was had, council members voted four to three to move forward and make some changes to the wording of this proposition. So to give our viewers at home a little bit of background information to kind of get them up to speed a little bit about what exactly is going on, this all stems from the wording of Prop 490. That's an initiative meant to go on the ballot in the upcoming November election because the existing sales tax rate is set to expire next year in the city of Scottsdale. So the current rate is 0.2%. If the measure passes, it would be 0.15%. The city of Scottsdale calling that a tax decrease and included wording in the proposition like reduce and replace. But critics argue it's misleading. They say if the current 0.2% sales tax expires, it goes to zero. And Prop 490, if passed, would then increase it from zero to 0.15%. So Prop 490, it went to the courts last month. The Maricopa County Superior Court judge ruled the measure would stay on the ballot as it was phrased. But yesterday, Yesterday, a state of appeals court overturned that decision, saying it agrees Prop 490 was misleading as written. So here we are today, the city council calling a special meeting to discuss how they want to move forward. Members of the public with mixed feedback, some saying the council should move forward, while others feel like the wording was deceitful and needed change. Council members also divided on the issue even after the vote. Yes, there's some thrones, uh, apparently some stones being thrown. I believe it's reinforced and clarified for us so that we can make it better. And as we have recrafted it, it's an amendment to the original resolution that was passed. The courts clearly told us, City of Scottsdale, that the ballot language before the vote today was illegal. It was illegal. And so we should have taken time to some introspection to think about that, work through that and not make a rushed decision running through to get uh, an answer in less than 24 hours. So it's still a little bit unclear about what exactly happens next. It does seem like some of the wording in that proposition will change, including removing words like reduce and replace. Uh, and then it seems like it could go to the county. But what happens after that exactly? Again, unclear. Even Councilmember Graham, it seemed like he had more questions than answers. So this is something that we will continue to follow. So stay with 12 News on air and online at 12news.com for the latest. Reporting live, Jay Cunningham, 12 News.